Where is the black people? First of all, I am anti-border man. <laughs> Good morning, welcome back. We are in Skopje, the capital of the Republic of North Macedonia, a Balkan country right above Greece. It's our first day in Skopje. We're gonna go check it out, see what we can do here on a budget. But first, we need to get breakfast. And there's a line for this spot, so you know it's gonna be good. This is a pickup. The meat is seasoned really well. Not too salty. It, it's definitely greasy, but it works together. If you didn't watch our Belgrade food tour, the bobe we ate in that one is has been our standard. The bobe we ate? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the burek we ate from the bakery bobe <laughs> in that video has been our gold standard. This one's good. I need to do more research. When Yugoslavia was breaking up in the early 90s, Macedonia was one of the few republics that just got to leave with no war, no conflict. They just left. Serbia said, see ya. And I believe that's because there wasn't a large Serb population living in North Macedonia. Let me know if I'm wrong. A lot of controversy with Greece saying that this is Alexander the Great. Technically, the name of the statue is Warrior on a Horse, but depending on who you ask, they'll say it's Alexander the Great or Warrior on a Horse. One thing that really sticks out about Skopje is there are statues everywhere. The city wanted to create all these statues to give Skopje more of a classical identity. The goal of making Skopje more attractive and having a better identity came at a cost because a lot of the locals felt like the money could have been better spent on, you know, actual things the citizens could benefit from, not just statues to make the city look prettier. You can see them all the way along the bridge, four in the background, all along here. Hey, maybe if this video gets enough views, we can get a statue in Skopje. Smash that like button, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell. This is dinari or dinars, the currency in North Macedonia. And the exchange rate is about 61 to 62. Dinari is $1. Two souvenirs, 160 dinar. Feels so good. There's a fairly large Albanian minority here in the Republic of North Macedonia. As you cross the bridge, I don't know if you guys can hear the call to prayer going in the background. This side of the city crossing the bridge is like the Albanian part. We're really bad at reviewing beer if you've ever watched us drink beer before. We're not beer connoisseurs in the slightest, but yeah, really good. And it's cold and it's hot outside, so two thumbs up. Where are we? Uh, Skopje. Four beers at a craft brewery came out to 600 dinars. But it's nice here in Macedonia. Everyone takes credit cards. Jeez. Oh no, oh. That's not gonna be good for the cork at all. It looks like if you just walked up, you could just come, completely skipped it. Castle ruins are free. The fortress, I should say, ruins are free. Oh, oh, be careful. Yeah, the infrastructure here, not great. Don't die, don't die. <sighs> Made it. It's free and that's good value. Made a new friend. Why should people visit 
Skopje. Skopje is a very unique place. It's very small and uh, concentrate everything in one place. You know? They have a very special tradition, Byzantine tradition, Turkish tradition, Bulgarian tradition, little Greece. Greece is not so. Albanian? And Albanian tradition. I'm gonna tell you two, two secrets for the city. Here was I was young, when I was a boy, this is my grandmother. This is you? You trickster is now. The boy, my, my assistant. The center. Here somewhere is Alexander the Great, yeah, you know, yeah. found town, blah blah blah. Float. Alexander the Great or Warrior on Horse? Alexander the Great. <laughs> the, but they can mention the Greeks have some, you know, argue. What do you think of all the statues? Statues. Statues, there are a lot of statues. They no need statues. And they do contra. They built 100. They told us, you build a Skanderbeg, we will build 100 more statues. That's the reason. Another reason? I don't know. Can you know another reason? Do you think it was waste of money for government? Yeah, they waste of money. They describe, they sign it. One statue, 70,000 euro. Mm -hmm. And took 250, much more, you know? One prime minister escaping Hungary. He's still there. Somebody is not in the jail. Somebody get out. It's a lot of corruption from the oh, statues. A lot of corruption. Is, is life better now or in Yugoslavia? Oh, Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia yeah. was better. First of all, I am anti-border man. In US, you have 50 states, you can't cross any border yeah. mm -hmm. without checking. We're here, 20 kilometers from here, you have a Kosovo border, then 35. Serbian border, check there, check here. Uh. It's for usual people, it's very stressful, you know? What do people think of the name change from Macedonia to North Macedonia? Because the Greeks say we are Macedonian, they say little. They must change it. It's not uh, volunteer. Mm. They must do that, you know. Yeah. If somebody came to America, say it must be in North America. If you want to be my example. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you say, yeah, okay, we are a small country, we must agree. We are yeah. small country, small nation, we must agree. You don't have nothing in your power, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. Where is the black people? I told we deported them. He was Englishman, I'm, I'm not sure who he was. I told to him, you brought the black people like a slave from Africa, you know? <laughs> it was, oh yeah, we don't like to live here, black people. It's very rare to see, still today, when across somebody with color and black people. Would black people be welcomed in Skopje? No. No. Yeah. We don't, we, we are not so tolerated with the black people. Good thing. Religion and nation. We are very carefully in Balkan. We are very carefully when we choose another nation, another faith, you know. Mm. We have a little reserve, you know. Cut! Cut! <laughs> <laughs>